Step 3. Creating the Parameter Script Let's go back to the Library Part Editor window and click on the Parameter Script Window button to open the Parameter Script in a separate window. Type the following lines into the Parameter Script. We already know the Values command of GDL. We'll create the possible values for the Handle underscore Style parameter. You will talk about why the values 0 through 15 are available later in this chapter. When the value of handle underscore style is 0, it means there is no handle for the door. Type the following lines into the parameter script. Here again, we have a values command, but with some new parameters to the command. The first novelty is the range keyword. The range keyword lets you limit the range a parameter can take. For example, with this line of code we want to limit the thickness of the frame to the thickness of its enclosing wall, meaning we do not want the frame of the door to be in any cases greater than the thickness of the wall into which it was placed. Type the following lines into the parameter script. With this command, we specify another range for the gs underscore leaf underscore thick parameter. We limit it so that it can take the values that are less than or equal to the gs underscore frame underscore thick parameter. We do not set a lower limit for it. Go back to the parameter list and select the gs underscore frame underscore thick parameter. Click on the right pointing arrow in its value column. You can see the following for possible values. Less than or equal to 300. The reason we place the door into a wall is because we use the thickness of the enclosing wall to limit the value of the gs underscore frame underscore thick parameter. Since the wall underscore thickness global variable has a non-zero value only when at least one door is actually placed into a wall, we had to do it so now we can see the possible range for the gs underscore frame underscore thick parameter. Since the value of the wall is 300 millimeters, the value of the parameter must be less than or equal to 300 millimeters. Select the gs underscore leaf underscore thick parameter. Click on the right pointing arrow in its value column. You can see the following for possible values. Less than or equal to 100. This is so because the current value of gs underscore frame underscore thick is 100. Select the gs underscore frame underscore thick parameter and modify its value to 80. Then again, Select the gs underscore leaf underscore thick parameter and click on the right pointing arrow in its value column. You can see the following for possible values. Less than or equal to 80. As you can see, the upper limit for the gs underscore leaf underscore thick value changed according to the change of value made to the gs underscore frame underscore thick parameter. Select the gs underscore frame underscore thick parameter and modify its value back to 100. Go to the parameter script and type the following code at its end. Here, we see a new command called hide parameter. The hide parameter command does a simple action. It hides the specified parameters in the list of parameters in the library part settings dialog. In our case, the door settings dialog. This can be useful when we have many parameters. There is limited space available in the settings dialog for the display of parameters. Organizing parameters into groups with the title and subordinate features is one way of saving space. We learned about that earlier. Another method is to simply hide those parameters that are not used. For example, the above command hides the handle underscore mat and handle acc underscore mat parameters in case handle underscore style equals zero. When handle underscore style equals zero, it means that there is no handle generated for the door. In such a case, we don't need to specify handle materials so these parameters can be hidden. 
Save the door object using the File Save Menu command. Go back to the floor plan and click on the door to select it. Go to its settings dialog. As you can see in the parameters panel, the value of the handle style parameter is zero, and there is no right pointing arrow to the left of the name of the parameter to signify that it has subordinate parameters. Modify the value of the handle style parameter from its value list to any other value. The right pointing arrow appeared. If you click it, it will reveal the two subordinate handle material parameters and you can set their values. So the command we wrote in the parameter script hides these two values only when the handle style parameter is set to zero. Otherwise, they will be shown. We are now finished with the parameter script. Leave the door settings dialog by clicking the cancel button.